Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be diagnosing a code for a Honda Sonata. It's a P0183, and it's a fuel temperature sensor, A circuit input high, meaning that there's a problem with the circuit, a uh, problem with the sensor itself, uh, or the computer, but the computer is usually the, the, the last thing that ever goes on these cars. This is an immediate code, it'll come right up, uh, especially uh, when it's an open uh, input high code, it's, it'll come right up. Okay, you see that code? And like I said, it's an immediate code and it has to be addressed or you're gonna fail inspection. Okay, on the, on the four door Honda Sonata, uh, it, it's in the back over here, you take the back seat down, okay? And you're gonna have an access panel here, I already moved it, just a piece of plastic, you pop it up. There's gonna be a little rub, rubber grommet here. You just slide it out of the way, okay? And this right here with these two wires, you got your yellow wire and the black wire and this plug, all right? That's the that's that uh that fuel temperature sensor. Okay, it's all incorporated in the fuel pump. So on this one, the wire was not off, but it was all rotted over here. You see this this wire over here? Let me put this thing on here. You can see it better. It was all rotted and it just came off. So what I did is I just touched it to see if it'll work, and sure enough, it does work. So that means that the sensor in the tank is good, but this is an old connection, so it's just gonna be replaced. But let's get back to how to, how to test this. The first thing you wanna do is check if you have voltage here. It should have a reference voltage of from 3.5 to five volts, okay, on the plug side, the harness side. All right, you go down here, look at the meter, and it's showing two point, it should be about, about two, they say from 1.8, so I say two to five volts. So this one's got, this one's in spec. Okay, you got voltage there. So now what that means is that all the way from the front where the computer is all the way back to here, there's no need to check nothing in the back. You, go, you, you, you get it right from here. You got power here, you're done. You don't have to do nothing in the front. Okay, now you check this, you put this on resistance, and now if assuming that the wire here was not broken, all right, and it, it was connected like this one is connected, you would put on the plug side of the uh, sensor itself, you would put a, vol a voltmeter, uh, ohm meter, I'm sorry, on each plug, one there and one there. And you see how it says open? You see, you see the, the meter? There's nothing there, you would know that the sense is bad and the whole fuel pump has to be, be replaced. Years ago, you can just replace the uh, the sensor, but that's kind of silly. You know, the pump's only about 50 bucks. So just do that, it's not that hard to do. Okay, now let me show you what a good sensor, because this sensor is still good. So let me show you what, it, what the voltage, the ohm should be. Okay, so now when I connect it, You see, it's showing three ohms. It's supposed to have between three and six ohms, depending on temperature. But anything between 2.5 and eight ohms is fine. If you've got 100 ohms, 1,000 ohms, no good. It's gonna be open, it's gonna be failed. Okay, so this sensor is still good, but I gotta replace it, like I said, because of the rotted connection. Okay? So to replace this pump, you're gonna have screws here, 10 millimeter. Okay, these are eight millimeter. They all look like they don't wanna come out, but hopefully yours is not as rusted as this. This car's been sitting a while. You disconnect this, this um, the fuel uh, level sensor connector and the fuel pump right here. You connect the um, temperature sensor like we just did, and it comes right out. You take it out, clean it up, put the new one back in, and just you know reverse the procedure, and you're done. All right, and it'll take care of that code. That code is, uh, is not that many of these types of codes on the internet. It, it's it's kind of hard for a lot of people, but it's easy when you listen to me. All right, guys, Motocon Nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, I answer them all. See you in the next video.